The cathode building at Giga Texas is 60.2% done, and the floors are getting poured. I'm Brian. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Well, there's a lot of progress to show, even if a lot of it doesn't show up in the actual tracker's math. A quick thanks to newest Patreon member, Trond Arstad. Thank you for your commitment to supporting the channel. So there was no update last week because the numbers didn't change. There was some progress, but especially compared to recent weeks, there wasn't enough to show. They were busy laying out rebar and pouring concrete for the upper floors. Utility work around the apron of the building has been underway, and forms have been put up to pour the perimeter grade beam. All that's going great. Now on the last update, I pointed out that there were no heavy steel attachments for exterior walls, which would suggest that they may be using panels made from materials other than concrete. Well, over the past two weeks, crews have been busy welding on such attachments, leading us back to the conclusion that the exterior walls will be concrete, like they are on the main building. What's changed this week, for elements counted by the tracker, is that additional roof sections have been added. That's it. These only count as half complete at the time they go down, since there will be additional layers on top of it, but giving it some weight makes sense, since it allows for some work to begin inside. The other half of the count will begin racking up once the walls are in place around each block. So looking at the progress chart, you'll notice that last week was completely flat, with a nice jump on the roof this week, pulling up the overall site completion, however slightly it did. So let's take a look at the site map and go through it as what was due a week of a week and roll it back to the beginning to see how it's changed. It took a little while to dial in the exact size and shape, since we hadn't seen the blueprints and had to make a lot of assumptions, but ongoing revisions were expected. Mad thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for allowing use of his fantastic footage. Check him out for factory deep dives of a different variety from these, and because he's an amazing asset to the Tesla community. So there it is, and there you go. 60.2% done, with an increase of just 1.8 points over the last update two weeks ago. Since the site prep, foundation, and skeleton are all complete, we're running a bit lean on elements to count. I hope to see the roof figures continue to climb over the next week or three until it's complete, and based on the preparations to the outermost steel, we're hoping to see the first walls before then, so there's still progress to track without long breaks. So be on the lookout for wall panel deliveries or the arrival of another heavy lift crane as those are the indicators that it's time to move on to closing it off. I suspect the reason the crane we saw for the steel was removed is that it belonged to the steel contractor and that they'll be using someone else for the walls. While we're waiting for walls, we can expect to see more of the interior floor decking attached, with concrete pours following, and additional preliminary utility work continuing both outside the building and even a bit inside as well. As the walls are added, squares will be counted toward the interior at a rate of 5% towards completion each week, racking up to 100% done over 20 weeks. This is four weeks longer than what we use for the main building due to lessons learned from practical observations on that tracker. That means that if all the walls are up by the beginning of September, we would expect some degree of initial production around the end of January. That appears pretty unlikely since we've yet to see any signs of walls, so add however many weeks or months to that based on your assumptions. Two weeks ago, I said that the 6% jump that week was likely the last big bump we'd see, and that appears to have been true. We could see one or more two decent weekly increases as the roof is finished, but after that, it will be a slow, steady march towards 100%, since everything at that point would be counted on a longer time frame. Videos like this take a lot of time to produce, so if you find value in what you see, consider offering support on Patreon, where you'll get early access, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. Or you can subscribe, like the video if you did, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, at 4K Podcast, or maybe just hang around and watch the whole video all the way through, because I just love throwing in a little bonus content at the very end. I appreciate you all, either way, because you are the reason I'm able to keep going, and I thank you for that. So, 
What did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your thoughts and ideas below, your brilliance, your wisdom, all that good stuff. And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on tomorrow's live stream, I hope. And here's your time and a half overtime bonus, courtesy of footage from Jeff Roberts. Tesla famously repurposes unused materials deprecated by the Agile construction process. The idea behind Agile is that you start building before you finish designing. So you wind up having to do some rework along the way or remove finished materials. Well, many of the wall panels were chopped up into cyber planters to decorate the parking lot. But maybe, just maybe, the dozens of panels that have been left to the west of the toll road may wind up being the first attached to the cathode building at Giga Texas. Thoughts?